Okay, before I do the actual intro, I'm going to let you know that this whole video is going to be playing at 1.75 speed after this image disappears and the video starts because I thought it was funnier that way. It sounds pretty funny. You can always slow it down if you want to. But anyway, here we go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I've got some great news for you. Jeremiah Payne, last days of freedom, is free again. Free at last, free at last, people. He got bailed out of jail. His wife ended up getting an ROR. He had to pay some bail. And thank God for Killian, Indiana Auditor, and frickin' media who, who worked tirelessly to get this man free. Let's check out his current situation. Thank you. What's up, everybody? It's Jeremiah, last days of freedom. Guys, I'm out. I'm safe. I want to give a huge, big shout-out to freaking media and delete laws. If it wasn't for them two, me and my wife would have never got out of jail. Luckily, they gave my wife an OR bond. The day we were in court yesterday, when we were both in court, they told me and her that we would have to stay in jail until April the 6th um, if I couldn't post a bond. I have a dream. My four little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Well, Samantha luckily got out on an OR bond last night around 8 o'clock, and her freaking media, Indiana Auditor, and Delete Laws, if it wasn't for them three putting in all night long in their work and Delete Laws sending the money to get me out, dude. I love you, man. That's all I can say, brother. Thank you so much. I guess he didn't find any agreement between Carolyn and those three to get him out of jail. I wonder what happened to all that money that Killy raised that didn't go towards the LDOS bail. I wonder what happened to that. I don't know. Sketchy. Sketchy at best. And out of all the auditors, out of everybody that could have had my back, freaking media, delete laws, and of course, Indiana Auditor worked on days contacting everybody he could to get the word out. And the one person I thought really would help was James Freeman, but he didn't. But it is what it is. Well, I think that might go back to bite him in the ass. This and James Freedom while he's praising Chili. Oh, that's going to work out real good for this idiot. I'm telling you, these people couldn't get any dumber if you paid them. Luckily, Delete Laws had my back. I'm out. I'm safe. I've been playing with my beautiful little daughter. Dude, the one person I thought really would help was James Freeman, but he didn't. God, man, I can't thank you enough. Um, everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Um, the channel's going to be changing a little bit. I'm going to start doing more of, like, lackluster and James Freeman style of an audio the audio videos, kind of like that. And... Um, I'm going to lay low on the auditing just for a little while until all these pending cases are taken care of. And I do know for a fact, guys, and I was told this by someone, I'm not going to say no names or who they were, but it's somebody that would have known. But the person that night on my live stream that wanted my room number so they could call the hotel and pay it, LDO welfare. So they could call and pay it. Well, it turned out, guys, it was thorough good. The guy with pool got me and Samantha arrested. And once he found out what room we were in when I told him, it wasn't 30 minutes later, and that's when six Robertson County deputies banged on our door during the live stream. So well, that's interesting. He's not going to mention any names, but Thoroughgood is the guy that called the cops on him. Is Thoroughgood a cop? Does anybody know who Thoroughgood is? Because I don't know who it is. Maybe he'll reveal it here in a minute. And me and Samantha was arrested. Luckily, they, they were cool. They waited around for about 30 minutes, long enough for us to get Skylar's grandparents to her to give her a ride to my mom, where we're at now in Russellville, Kentucky. But anyways, guys, I'm out. I'm safe. My wife is safe. Delete laws, brother. I love you, freaking media. I love you, brother. Indiana Auditor, you know I love you, man. And it ain't no negation. I just love the hell out of you guys. And thank you for having my back. It really means a lot knowing that Delete Laws, freaking media, and Indiana Auditor worked their asses off on getting that money to get me out. And I owe you, brother, more than you'll ever know. Thank you. And at this point, he should be just about ready to bring his little girl out, put her on camera, to show what a lovely family man he is while blaming Mr. Thurgood for his arrest and not taking any responsibility for running from the law and trying to hide from them. Sally, you say something? Yeah. my beautiful little girl. Hi, again. Hi. You glad to see Daddy? Yeah. Did you miss me? Yeah. I missed you too, baby. Billy Laws, thank you, brother, for getting me and her together. Thank you. God bless you, man. Mwah. Something. Thank you. I know, folks, it's amazing news. This persecuted man was finally set free, dream fulfilled, and as far as he's concerned, James Freeman is a jerk for not helping him out. Anyway, I couldn't agree more. He would have been the fourth idiot in the crew if he did help him, and he didn't want to get bundled into that category with those other three morons. Oh, that's just, uh, that's just terrible. So he's back where he started from before he ran away. Blames everything on somebody else, like usual. Not his fault. He didn't steal a bicycle. He didn't put it in the back of his rented U-Haul so he could get out of town or whatever Penske truck. He didn't do that, even though they caught it on security cameras. Wasn't him. It was Thurgood's fault he got arrested. Oh, well. Shit happens. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Love y'all. Bye. Shame that kid's back with these two criminals. But we'll see what happens. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all. Bye. One person I thought really would help was James Freeman, but he didn't. I have a dream. My four little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the content of their character.